guys, this is Music by Elijah, and this is a documentary of my ninth album called 16th Street and Eve. The inspiration of the 16th Street album came to me when my uncle passed away back in 2009, and I always just wanted to find a lookout area, and I found one on March 15, 2019, and heard my first time up there. I just took a picture and this album just came to me. It was so beautiful. The cover art for the 16th Street album was taken on March 15, 2019 at 16th Street and Eve at 6.54 p.m. Let's talk about the songs off 16th Street and Eve. Every album I record, I always like put like a little intro track at the beginning of the album, and that was Slope Intro, and I recorded that on September 24th of 2019, got the final mix done that day. track of the album called Six and Street and Eve, also the title track of the album and that song was inspired by my first time up there. I even started recording the song up there which was pretty cool and I recorded the song, at least the instrumental tracks on May 7th of 2019 and then got the final mix done on May 30th. The song is basically about anyone's first time up there at the lookout at Six and Street and Eve.
the sixth and street album it's called my love i started writing a song on april 21st i just like sitting down on the piano and just looking at an old photo of my first time up at the locale and started playing the piano and that's what came that and then it took me forever to write the lyrics and i got that done on april 30th and then i recorded a song on may 8th and then got the final mix done that night and that song is basically well, like anyone who just starts a relationship in the end of it, and at the end of the song, the last verse, I give a tribute to my uncle who passed away. song I was just filming the Katiana music video for that was one of the songs off that my time album and I was just driving my canes and I saw this beautiful blonde girl and I don't know I just fell in love so I was just driving away like I say in the lyrics and I, and I legit just start crying and I wrote the song like that night when I got home after done filming the music video and then wrote the lyrics and then didn't finish the song until like March 8th and then recorded a song on May 9th and then got the final mix done on May 14th. It's a beautiful song. track off the Station Street album. It's called She's Never Gonna Go Away. I started writing lyrics on August 4th of 2018 and wrote so many different versions of the song until I got a breakup text message in March 2019 and that's what completed the song. I recorded the song on May 10th of 2019 and got the final mix done on May 14th of 2019. The song is basically about anyone that you just cannot get it outside of your head after like a breakup or anything. Just something that just stays inside of your head. That's basically what the song is about. And the song was inspired by Journey song, Send Her My Love. When we were 
kiss him, she was laughing, not even trying, she had feelings. track off the 6th Street now called Getting Played. I was at work on March 18, 2019. I was just like humming like some like guitar solo in my head and that's what you hear in the song, the, the guitar. The song is basically about just, just getting played in general. And I recorded a song on May 12th and May 13th and then get the final mix done until May 22nd at 11.51 a.m. Sixth track off the sixth and street album called Orisha. Inspiration came to me when my heart got broken in March 2019. Wrote the lyrics for the song on March 29th and then wrote the piano riff sometime between late March and early April. I wrote the ending guitar solo on May 11th at the lookout on my acoustic guitar. Then I recorded a song on May 12th and May 13th. When I was recording the guitar riff at the end of the song, I decided to overdub it because it just sounded more beautiful than the song already was so made it more beautiful and got the final mix done on May 14th. The seventh track off the second stream album is called Southern Rhapsody. Inspiration behind the song came to me when I just wanted to write Rhapsody when I was just listening to a lot of Queen in late 2018 or 2019. Wrote the whole entire song my Holocaust class I was taking on February 7th and then I made a demo for the song on February 20th. I didn't record the song until June 18, 2019 and then got the final mix done on June 23rd. The eighth track off the sixth and street album is called Be Your Friend. The song is based about just being a friend and just being a good friend. Like what inspired me to write the song is when I lost a friend, I just wrote the song for the person. And this one like teaching how to like be your friend. I wrote the song on Thanksgiving Day 2018, the whole entire song, the guitar solo, the piano and everything. I was inspired by Queen. And then I didn't record a song until June 23rd, 2019. And then got the final mix done on June 27, 2019. That's be your friend. The 
9th track off the Signal Street now it's called Xavier. Wrote the song on April 16, 2019, when I was just like playing the Cooper while I was playing this two chords, I just made a riff and then recorded a song on June 25th, 2019, after I was getting fillings in my mouth. And it's crazy how the vocals, like my mouth was like half numb on one side and the other side I was able to speak. And then I got the final mix done like that night. That's Xavier. Final track off the Sixth Street album is called When You Pass Away. What inspired me to write the song is when my uncle passed away, and I always just wanted to like, write a song about my memories with him. Only had a few memories with him, I decided to put that in a song. And I wrote the song on, at least the lyrics for it on, April 16, and I wrote the piano part sometime around that time, and then recorded a song on June 27th or June 28th, and like sometime around that time, like, I think I was hearing my uncle in the recording, because like, if you listen to the instrumental track, you hear it's like clicking sound, which is so weird. And then I got the final mix done on June 30th, 2019. That's when he passed away. It's dedicated to my uncle Rich, may he rest in peace. put a cover song at the end of the album and I chose Morning Feeling by Boston for the Sixth and Street and the album. Why I chose that song is because one of my good friends texted me about that song on the day the album basically came to my mind on um, March 15, 2019 and it told me that that song reminded me of me. So I decided to just record a cover of the song after the song being crossed off in my cover set list back in 2006, 2017 and recorded on September 12th, September 13th, and now the song's real, and I never thought I'd ever make a cover of that song and finish it. But. I finished writing the whole entire Six and Street and Eve album on May 5th of 2019 and finished it at the lookout. I 
the song My Love on June 19th of 2020. <laughs> second song I released off the Station Street album was the title song Station Street and Eve. I released it on August 21st and filmed a music video sometime in late September and early October 2019. September 4th, I decided to record a acoustic version of 16th Street and Eve on guitar. And I released that on September 11th of 2020. October 23rd, I dropped the third single off the second tree and album. Those were two songs getting put in over Russia. Why did I decide to drop both the songs at the same time? Because they both have the same meaning. Getting play was the negative side, over Russia was the positive side. For the music video, I decided to create my prom night because I mentioned my prom in the song Over Russia. And I filmed the music video on Halloween night 2019. <laughs> October 2nd, 2020, my good friend Jerry Garcia passed away from overdose of fentanyl and in honor of him, I decided to put him in a mix in one of my songs and that was over a show.
heavy. On Christmas Day in 2020, I dropped the lead single off the 16th Street album called She's Never Gonna Go Away. For the music video, I wanted to create a montage like what you see when No Easy Way Out plays in Rocky Floor. And I basically made a montage for myself of all the stuff that has happened to me that like significant to all my music in order. Hey guys, me is Bailaji and the 6th and Street and Eve album is out now. Thank you guys so much for everything in my music career. Thank you so much. Love you guys all. Thank you. On January 15th of 2021, I dropped the 16th Street album. I decided to chose that day because when the whole entire album came to me, it was on Friday the 15th, and it was also a Friday on January 15th, so that's why I chose that day. Single song off the Sixteen Street album, I decided to create a music video for them. The reason why I did it because this album means so much to me, and I just wanted to make this album special. Thank you for watching the documentary of the 6th and Street and Eve album.